Hello everyone and welcome. I am Ida Lee and this is Raw Emotions. And first of all, I just would like to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Um, and also for those of you that have reached out and have shared um, how it's helping you, you know, change your awareness and your perceptions. Um, I appreciate that, you know, thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that, that you're, you're finding um, your voice in all of this. Um, and together we can find our voices. But um, today, I guess I, I just would like to talk a little bit about um, my spatial awareness of time, my time concept, um, or lack thereof. Um, back when Bella was in status and, um, you know, we had to, she was eyes only, we had to constantly watch her um, 24 hours a day. Um, so we stayed up during the nighttime. Um, you know, that was, that was really hard. It was a really surreal moment to look back on now. Um, I'm sure I view it a lot differently than, than what I was going through at that time. <clears throat> but I can't explain it other than I've, I've walked out of that entire process changed. Um, it really puts things in perspective for you. It helps you understand the importance and the preciousness of life. Um, everyone's life. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter what they've done, how they've hurt you. Um, you look at people differently. You look at situations differently. Um, you look at yourself differently. And I think that that's what sometimes those moments are meant to do is they're meant to challenge us. Um, you know, it, it's so funny because we, we create these mountains out of anthills. Um, things that really aren't a big deal. You know, we just compile and keep compiling. And before you know it, you know, we've got this huge mountain that we're, we're halfway up and we're backscaling, you know, and, and we're complaining about, you know, we can't get across and, and we're taking everybody down with us. You know, it, it's, it's just, it's so interesting to me how, how we do that to ourselves and, and for what, you know, for why. Um, so it's just, it's, it's really interesting to, to be where I'm at now and, and to kind of look back and, and just be like, wow, you know, I really had to go through all that to get here. Seriously, that's what it took. And yeah, apparently, <laughs> that's what it took. <laughs> but it took, you know, I, I was on a ledge that I, I didn't think I was going to walk away from. Um, I can't explain it to you other than I was just in a, a very dark, dark place. Um, it's not that I was wanting to hurt myself or hurt Bella. Um, I wasn't really wanting to leave the situation. Um, believe me, I wanted to run away plenty of times. <laughs> um, I've never understood those women who, who leave. Um, I can understand, but I've, I've not been one of them to leave. So at the same aspect, I, I can't understand. Um, but I have wanted to leave plenty of times. <laughs> I've thought about packing that bag and just going. Um, so it wasn't that. And it, and it wasn't, you know, the, the only thing I can, I can really say is it was, it was just, it was sheer and utter survival. Um, we weren't living, we were surviving and we were fighting to survive. Um, my life wasn't in danger. Um, but being in that situation where At any given second, it, it can change and you can go into critical. Um, it's really hard. I, 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 again, I, I can't explain it other than 
you know, I, I think now that's why I'm so mentally exhausted. <laughs> um, and my focus, it's, I, 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 I'm able to concentrate on what needs to be done, um, and get, and get through what I need to get through. You know, I'm able to attend to her whatever she needs. But then as soon as I'm able to relax, it's, it's like, um, I, I, again, I can't explain it other than I just go blank. Um, I don't watch TV. I don't listen to the radio. It was way too much noise for me. Um, I had to shut everything off. Again, it was, I, I was present and in the moment with her during the, that time. Um, yeah. <laughs> So walking away from that, um, it's given me a different perspective. It's given me a different outlook. Um, I don't hold, I, I, I try not to hold negative emotions. Um, it's in the past. What's happened, happened. Um, letting go. And... I had to walk away from that situation. I had to let that situation go with her. Um, what we went through for two months was hell. It was unreal. It's something I will never go through again. Um, I will never repeat it. <laughs> but I learned one heck of a lesson from it, let me tell you. <laughs> I learned my compassion and my love. Um, so with that being said, I have no concept of time. Um, I know it's currently September, <laughs> 2018. <laughs> in my mind, I am stuck back in June for whatever reason. I, I'll do this at different points throughout the year. I'll just stay stuck in a certain time frame. Um, and it's like I, I cognitively know the current month, but in my head, I'm still back in this other, this other month. So for me right now, I'm, I'm back in the first of June. I'm, I'm coming into summer <laughs> as we're coming into fall right now. So you can imagine this is really hard for, for my brain. <laughs> like, wait a second here. Um, and I have a calendar on the wall and I'm, back to using my cell phone again. Um, and that, that was really hard for me. You know, um, when she had gone into status, uh, I had posted on Facebook in my support group um, what was going on. And I knew where we were. Um, I needed prayers and, and thoughts. I, I just needed a concentration on, on Bella and, and a good outcome. Uh, unfortunately, you know, someone had um, posted me in a public um, post on Facebook, and we hadn't told family members yet. Um, I was actually, we were racing down the interstate, you know, chasing the helicopter as she was being flighted down. So, you know, all of a sudden we were in the middle of, of calling family members. Um, and, you know, I had to go through a couple different experiences where, I felt like I was completely betrayed where I had no control over the situation. And, and that just helped me understand I am in complete control of every situation. I control how I respond. Um, it sucks you have to go through those lessons <laughs> to learn them, you know, but when you do, you do. And I'm so thankful that I, fin I finally learned it. You know, I finally got through it. But... Um, you know, so I got off Facebook and, and I, I got rid of my cell phone. Um, like I said, I got rid of the TV and, and the, the radio. There was just too much noise for me. There was just, there was so much background noise going on that I, I could only focus on what was right in front of me. And what was right in front of me was her life, um, was her, you know, and that's it. Um, that's it. So... How or why that transpired, I can't tell you. Um, I, 
there are plenty of times where I'll make plans with people and, and I legitimately forget. Um, I think that it's a couple of weeks in advance when it's like tomorrow. Um, or if something, you know, I'll be talking to somebody about something that's happened. And in my mind, it could have happened like three weeks ago and it happened yesterday. <laughs> and it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's been really interesting for me um, to make to be living this, you know, and to see my reality, my perception where I'm living in the moment, but yet I'm, I'm not. And it's, it, again, I just, I can't explain it. And it's so bizarre, but I have no concept of time, um, or what day it is. Um, the beginning of the week feels like the end of the week. You know, for me, weekends are my weekday. You know, when everybody's excited for the weekends, that's when I have to work. You know, that's when she's home from school. Um, and like I said, right now, we don't have a respite worker, you know. So when my husband's, you know, has showings when he's working, it's me and the kids. Who's ever home <laughs> or not? <laughs> and, you know, so come Monday, that's, the week is my weekend, you know, that's where if, if I don't have to do anything, I'm not going to. If I don't have to get out of bed, I'm not going to. You know, I, I'm i learning to find my balance um, and my recovery in all of this. You know, it's, I can't power through anymore. Um, I can when I need to, but I don't need to go full, full force all the time. So it's finding my, my balance. It's finding my, my peace and... Um, Again, it's just it's so interesting what we have to go through to, to get to those lessons, you know, to learn them. <laughs> oh, but um, so, yeah, you know, I I don't know if this helps you at all. Um, you know, my mom kind of made a joke, you know, uh, well, you're kind of acting like you're retired, you know, and I had said I, I have no concept of time. And I would love to be retired. I would love to be retired. Um, that's not my reality. And I think that, again, I because we walk that line, you know, we, we, we walk that ledge so much that I'm learning to appreciate my moments in my day. And um, those are the special ones. You know, it's when you can realize where you're at and you can just appreciate it and you can just love where you're at. And I'm finding that. <laughs> I'm finding that. So, you know what? I have to give up my time. That's okay. That's all right. But, okay, well, enough of that. So, I'm getting bored. I've said enough. None crying. She's going to be home. <laughs> a little bit anyways. So I hope you all have a good day. Um, keep smiling, keep sharing your love, and keep telling yourself that you're worth it. Find your worth. Find your self-worth in yourself because no one can do it for you. You are worth it. Have a great day.